and Gulf of Suez. That is Sinai, 61,000 kilometers square. Gulf of Aqaba and Gulf of Suez. The top of the Gulf of Aqaba, we have the Aqaba board belongs to Jordan. That's why we call it Gulf of Aqaba. And the other, Gulf of Suez, of course, where is the city? Belongs to Egypt, close to Sinai, where is the top of the Gulf of Suez? That's why we call it the Gulf of Suez for the Suez city. And of course, that city is the first station for the Bedouins to travel from where is in the heart of Sinai to go outside to bring what they need from there. Like the food, like that was a long time ago by camp. So, there is a connection, you can say, between the Red Sea and the Mediterranean Sea up there, while we call the Suez Canal, which is connecting what is the Gulf of Suez till we're up there, the, 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 the Mediterranean Sea. Sinai divides into two parts. The north, where is the Mediterranean Sea, and the south, where is the Red Sea, corner down there, which is Shamal Sheikh, is in the bottom of the triangle exactly. That is Sharm el Sheikh city uh, location. North, north is too high. He's asking guys if you'd like to try the water pipe will be for 25 different pounds. If you're going to try the water pipe. And I, I don't know how to uh, stop the people to come to ask everything that you like. Cameraman or the shisha man. <laughs> the hubbly bubbly man. So, the north is, as I said, too high. The south is too low. The north is sandy ground. The south is really high mountains. There is a wet weather. Here is really very dry, especially in summer. There is very easy life. Here is gets really very hard. Kit. There is no guests. There is no people comes really to here to enjoy the time, to be really spending the money for, for the trips. For these people, of course, to survive. That means there is no central of course, really like that, of course, for the people to live. So we have two types of people in Sinai. Two Bedouin, two type of Bedouin people, of course, in Sinai. The people who live beside Sharm el Sheikh city, or the people who live still in the heart of desert. So life gets very hard uh, 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 in summer, especially in the south of Sinai Accord, where is the water? If there is lots of rain in the winter, that means they have a good life for us in summer. Otherwise, we are really are very hard, especially when the people lives around the water wells, to grow some vegetables around even there, or to hunt some animals, or to make a fish, of course, to save some money, and sort of to save some food, to dry some food, like the dried uh, fish or the dried meat, of course, to save it for a long time to eat it. So, there is very easy life in the north, because, as, really, as I told you, lots of rain, especially in the winter, to be really very easy to even grow what you like, throw just any kind of seed, like what we call the wheat seeds, of course, to be really having a flower later, very easy by the rain in the end of season to have your crop to like to do or to have what do you like to be really having a good life or an easy life to hear. The best fruit we get from the north, uh, the best leaf, dates, crops, uh, watermelon, everything of course comes from where is the north to the south. Only the people who live here beside the city or in hard of Beside the city, of course, they earn money by organizing that trip for you tonight to earn money. Or ladies at home making some handmade stuff, you'll see it later. Of course, we're in the Bedouin duty fish, of course, we'll go to watch it later. To be sell it for the people to earn money over here, to give it for our parents to sell it or to our brothers or to sell it, to have money, to be really having a good life. And transfer especially the water from the heart of this by tracks, because long time ago was by camels. So the camel is the main, the main animal or the main important uh, 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 way to try to transfer or to move anything exactly from here. That's why if the life gets really very hard, your world in this place is really gets dry, nothing to do, just remove all of what you have, even the tent, and hold exactly on the camel and try to move away to find a kind of source of water and it doesn't have to survive. Uh, of course, the, the herbs, of course, is the main thing for us to use over here, as I told you. We have a herb. Yes, yes, it was very hard. Very hard. So, uh, the herbs, of course, is uh, uh, a very important here, but that scent is really fully of different kinds of herb seeds to be really grown if there is a water, rain water, to have different kinds of herbs over here to, over here to see. And, uh, and, and they are very clever to prepare the medicine from here. By a herb called shea, 
they raise a herb called chih, or we call it by a Bedouin dialect called Baithron. Baithron herb is really the best to keep the snakes away if you turn to the house. That's why we are always using the natural uh, 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 things, the natural herbs, of course, to be safe from different things. Also, the scorpion by, by the opium, if you, if you heard about the opium, a piece of opium in your tea, both by the heat of your tea to drink it, to kill or to stop the poison of the scorpion, of course, will be a way to be uh, protective or to be killing exactly that kind of person. But really, the best way to protect your kid or your boy or your baby from the scorpion pits, of course, will be by a clever lady when she's really pregnant, I feel that's a pregnant start to go in the desert, collect the baby of the scorpion, and plan it, and of course, blend it very well to give it or to save it for, for, for later when she delivers. Of course, baby came in to suck the milk from her personal gang. She go to, to feed first the baby, put a powder on her first course to keep the baby second the milk with the powder or the powder with the milk to get the immunity and that is a way of course to be protect your baby kid for a whole life it means when he's really a boy later to be moved by behind the camels that is the life over here to be really behind the camels like what you have seen the boy is leaving the camel for you outside it's really very hot in summer to be really keeping the snakes and the scorpion out of the mountains really whereas the wet places to be having something cool water if you know that's really the main source of course of life over here in this what else? Education, of course, is, as I told you, the kids, when they went to, uh, to the schools for six years only, what we call the government school, because our government started to come into China here to help these people by building some schools around to be keeping the kids knowing, reading, writing. But if I'm rich, I can't send my kid outside, like where is Cairo or Alexandria over there to continue his, his education. Otherwise, of course, enough for him to read and write and push him out, of course, to help me for earning money, as you see, of course, outside, or so outside, of course, for leading the camels for the people or preparing something which is really host, who cooks our food over here in this camp is the Bedouin boys you have seen the long dress people of course behind you there's the Bedouin who was knowing them of course by the color of the scarf which you've seen the owner of that tent is the guy who's really lay on this speaker over there by a red scarf that is Sheikh Hussein is the owner of the camp over here and of course all of them of course came from three countries around which is Palestine, Jordan and Saudi Arabia that means they are not originally from here they are Bedouins or nomads or travel of course who came from outside to live in Sinai and that hard really weather or that hard life over here to be survived. What else? As I told you, food and water. Water is the water wells. Food is to grow some vegetables or hunting the animals or just fishing, making a fishing course to save that food after dry over there. But how they keep the water cold? How they save the milk for example? Only the nature, of course. Goats slaughter it, have the meat, and the litter is still there. But not like you, not like us, not like everywhere, of course. Is a slaughter the goat and open the skin or open the leather food by, by a knife, remove it and thank you, take the meat to eat it later. But really here, they slaughter the goat and just pick it the leather upside down from the goat like that after hanging it in somewhere like the tent. And of course, to have the leather completely with no leak, with no holes, with no knife at all, to be really completely there and salt it, clean it and dry it to fill it by water, close it very well and hang it in tent to have always a cold water. Cold water will be always in that kind of skin or leather of, of, of what to do the goats. Milk also, fill that kind of leather or skin, of course, by the milk and save it. Uh, uh, or, I mean, a clever lady is, of course, to be hold it from or just hang it in the tin and just check it for a long time to have the cream of that milk or in the face of the milk to get it later to have a, a lovely breakfast, which is really the main breakfast over here to mix the bread, the fresh bread with the butter, with the, with the cream of this milk, of course, to have a lovely uh, uh, breakfast in the morning and to be having a, a, a high power to be really able to move for a long time behind the camels in this kind of really hard life. Uh, I could talk, I said, till morning, no problem, but you have to shut up if you want, but please, if you have any question about what I call the Bedouin life, before we go to the, the Bedouin duty free shop to see it, just to take an idea if you'd like to watch what they do, if you want to have, or if you buy something like, as a souvenir for your friends, if you family back there in England, of course, if you don't want to you just take an idea, because we go to climb up there, if also you want, take a picture for the whole body. 
So, a question. Any religion? Religion. 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 Yeah. religion. So, of course, they are all Muslims. And they all came from, as I told you, Palestine, Jordan, and Saudi Arabia. Where is the beginning of Islam? When Islam began exactly in Egypt, they start to come as a families, and now they make a tribes. So that means the famous tribes. You have to see in Sinai, which is a seven, a seven tribes in all over Sinai to see over here in Sinai, which is we are all Muslims. Another question. <laughs> Let's go to the duty function to see what they do there. <laughs> Thank you.